Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pokemon Mid-Season Showdowns. I'm your commentator for today, Ismat Myron, and joining us for Swiss Round 4. We have T Chong Z on stream, he'll be going up against Ruven Tan as well. Alright, uh, both players have won uh, 3 rounds in their Swiss divisions right now. They're going up against um, opponents of Calibre 3 and 0 right now. 3 wins and 0 losses. Alright, um, both players um, are not new to the stream as well. They've been very competitive throughout um, since VGC 15 as well. Um, both teams are connecting right now and the diversity we've seen in this tournament right now is um, really incredible. We've seen a lot of Pokemon such as Ho-Oh, -Oh, Dialga, uh, Mega Kangaskhan and the Double Genie is also being utilized as well. Um, so I can't wait to see the amount of caliber of players that we're going to see go up against each other right here. Um, T -Jong, I'd like to see what T Chong Z is running here and Ruven Tan as well. Like what kind of um, sets they're going to bring up to the table right now. <clears throat> Alright, both players are going to give the handshake right now as we slowly get into team preview as well. Alright, uh, T Chong Z will be on the screen below, whereas Ruven will be on the screen on the top right as well. Uh, t we as you can see in team preview on the bottom left, T Chong Z is running uh, Talonflame, Kangaskhan, Kyogre, Klefki, Ferroton, and Yveltal. Whereas uh, Ruven is running um, uh, the most of the standard sticks, except that the Meow Stick is. Uh, the Kangaskhan is being replaced by the Meow Stick, which is the Groudon, Salamence. Uh, yeah, Xenia's Talonflame and Smeargle. <coughs> Alright, um, with the Yveltal on Chongzi's side right here, I mean, both of them are like polar opposites each other. I mean, uh, Chongzi is running Kyogre, whereas Ruven's running Groudon. Uh, Chongzi is running Yveltal, whereas Ruven's running Xenia. So it's like the really polar opposite each other. Like Chongzi's Kyogre can counter the Groudon, whereas uh, Ruven's Xenia's can counter the Yveltal. Alright, both Pokemon have, uh, both parties have supportive mods as well to counter against each other right here. Chongzhu has like the Ferroton to going up against um, Xerneas right here. But nothing much else other than that, it's just um, Xerneas probably prepared for um, potential Primal Kyogres, but he's clearly not going up against that. Uh, we can see the similarities as well, both Pokemon are running, both uh, players are running Talon Flames, but we do see a Klefki on Chongzhu's side here. Mm, I would like to see how he utilizes that um, to his advantage. I would like to see what set also he's running. Um, I, I'm not sure whether he's going to run Swagger or Protect. Uh, we'll have to see when we get into the game right now. As both players are in team preview selecting the 4 that they want to bring for the Swiss round 4 first match. Hmm, Meow Stick as well. Both, um, both players here are running like Prankster users right here. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, definitely the Meow Stick is a little bit faster. So if you could get a fast taunt off or um, Klefki could get off like a safeguard. Uh, we'll have to see, like, I'm not sure what sets they're gonna run because Kangaskhan also can provide fake out support but Meowstic could also run fake out support and Talonflame could also run quick guard so these are like the mind games you have to consider when you're going into um, the game as well you have to think what potential uh, moves your opponent might carry or bring alright, as we do see, we're gonna go into the game live right now uh, Ruven versus Chongzui like I've said before, Chongzui is on the screen on your bottom left whereas uh, Ruven's on the screen above on the top Alright, as we do see, uh, Ruven sends out a uh, Primal Groudon and Meow Stick. Hmm. Normally, if I were to see a, a Meow Stick pair up with a Groudon, uh, the Meow Stick will run supportive moves to support the Groudon. Um, as we do see, a uh, Kangaskhan and um, Klefki D right here on Chongzhou's side, uh, side right here. Both of them are carrying out their offensive threats, which is um, Groudon on Ruven and Kangaskhan on uh, Chongzhou's side, and they're both supportive mods, right? To support um, the offense, um, the offensive threat that they're carrying. Um, I'm not sure. Um, this is a really peculiar situation for Klefki right here because Groudon could easily go for a fire type move, possibly an eruption or a fire punch. Um, but we'll have to see how is uh, Ruven gonna, uh, Chongzhu is gonna respond to that. Uh, Chongzhu has already make up his move already, very pretty quick if you ask me. Um, Ruven slowly deciding on like what moves he should he use, should he go for the fake out. As we do know that the fake out on the Meow Stick is faster than the Kangaskhan's fake out. Um, so we'll have to see, would he, possibly he might run Gravity also to support with the Precipice Blades so, um, potentially missing and landing on the uh, Klefki or any flying type Pokemon that uh, Chung Zui might have on his side of the field here. Or both so could run Swagger if I'm not mistaken right here, right? Because um, Meow Stick and Klefki both have Pranksters. As we do see a quick guard coming from the Meow Stick right here. Uh, potentially blocking any uh, prankster moves coming from the Klefki right here. So we do see a fake up from Kangaskhan and we do see a reflect going up. Like, that, that negates um, the Precipice Blade's damage, right? Coming up. But we do see a Sword Stance coming from the Primal Groudon. Wow, that was a pretty safe turn to go for a Sword Stance. And Kangaskhan's uh, fake out was negated by the Quick Guard coming up from the Meow Sting. So now, 
here's the thing, right? Primal Groudon has already set up Sword Stance plus two attack, but then the Clef Keys are uh, reflect has neutralized um, the stat, right? But here's the thing: the Clef Keys reflect could only stay up for so long, possibly only five turns, depending whether he has um, the Light Clay or not. Um, or I'm not sure yet. So, um, he, Chong Zui has to utilize the reflect turns that he has right now going on for him, because once that reflect goes up, Primal Groudon is going to be a potential threat. Um, to his not only um, Klefki but also his uh, Kangaskhan with possibly I don't know like a fake uh, like a fire punch or he could protect right now and let oh uh, well as we do see uh, gravity coming from the Meowsik uh, like I've mentioned before so he might go straight up for the Precipice Blades right here and there's nothing that he could do to prevent it as we do see a double hit from the Kangaskhan going on to the Meowsik definitely want to take up the supportive Mon it's very disruptive not only to his uh, but to his team in general right now right as we do see a Klefki going for a foul play onto the ground will he pick up the KO? Barely 50% and we do see a Precipice Blades going on to both targets right now. Definitely, I'm pretty sure it's going to pick up the KO on Kangaskhan as well. As we do see it picks up the KO on Kangaskhan. The Reflect could not save the, um, the team from a plus 2 uh, attack. Uh, Primal Ground on Precipice Blades under um, Gravity. <coughs> so here's the thing, Chong Zui has to set up um, like... Oh, as he does set up the Primal Kyogre negating the weather effects and we do see a Ferrothorn right now. So Ferrothorn loves the position that he's in right now, right? Because the rain is up, no fire attacks can touch him. He's immune to any fire threat, uh, fire type attacks that's coming his way right now. Um, but here's the thing, um, Primal Groudon might want to switch out because I'm not sure whether he outspeeds the Kyogre or not. And I'm not sure whether the plus two um, Precipice Blades can knock out the Ferrothorn, right? Because um, it's a double target move, it's a spread attack move and we're not sure on how the calculations will work on that yet because uh, Kyoko can save a turn by going for a protect while the Ferrothorn will go out for an uh, easy attack right there. And I'm not sure whether he's able to, uh, Reuven's able to give up his plus 2 attack that he has going for him right now, right? So we'll have to see. Plus, uh, Reuven's on the, um, he has an extra 2 Pokemon in the back, right? That he could switch out, switch in. Whereas Chong Zui, he only has to work with Ferrothorn and Kyoko. And once the Groudon possibly might switch out and set back the weather back, it's pretty difficult uh, for him to get back into the game. So we'll have to see here the play. Um, Reuven's uh, slowly deciding the, the, the turn is trying to play conservatively here, I guess. I mean, he doesn't want to mess it up because he's in a great position right now. Uh, Chong, uh, Chong has to make some amazing plays. Um, he has to water spot Origin Pulse right now, risk the speed tie at worst. If yeah, that's the catch, right? We're not sure like whether these Pokemon's uh, speed here or he might fear if he didn't go for the protect, the Meowth might either go for a Thunder Wave or potential Thunder Wave threat here. As we do see the ground on switch out, so he might he is gonna reset the weather later, but we're not sure what's coming in here. We do see Smeargle coming in here, potentially sacking the Smeargle and Meowth stick here, as he doesn't see them as a viable uh, option for the team right now. As you see an Origin Pulse coming out, right? Um, so we're gonna bring Smurga to focus set. Now that's vital information for Chongzui to pick up on going on to two rounds, possibly into the yeah, Swiss round four. Um, and we do see a Leech Seed uh, from um, Ferroton going on to Smurga. Now that's definitely a KO, right? So now from four to two, it becomes two to two, making it even from Ruven and uh, Chongzui. But here's the thing. Ruben can easily send out his Primal Groudon and there's nothing um, Chong Zui can do to prevent that the weather is going to be swapped out. It's going to be um, desolate land throughout the game. And when you see Xerneas comes out, right? Um, oh boy. Now the Ferroton could threaten the Xerneas with a Gyro Ball. But here's the thing, you're going to have to knock out the Groudon at best right now. You, you have to risk the Speed type and <coughs> risk Ice Beam on the line picking up the KO. Now these are the things you have to consider because um, Groudon is in a free position to go for a Fire Punch at worst. Uh, or um, the Groudon and Xerneas could double up on the Kyogre, right? Or, or on the Ferrothorn, mind you. Because um, Kyogre doesn't pose up a big threat right now because uh, Xerneas could easily set up the Geomancy next turn. Um, not on this turn, I would say. Possibly I want to pick up the KO on the Ferrothorn first at the moment. Um, so yeah. Um, I would assume that Ruven considers like the Ferrothorn as the bigger threat and he does go for the Protect on the Ferrothorn. Um, possibly Kyogre trying to pick up the KO onto, Kyo uh, uh, onto Kyogre with the Ice Beam. So we'll have to see whether um, Chong Zui gets it or not. As we do see a special attack drop, I mean that we'll have to see whether he gets a critical hit right here as the Ice Beam does connect onto the Groudon. Is it crit? No, it's able to survive. And the Precipice Blades does connect on the Kyogre. Now it's just Ferrothorn against the world right now. Oh, no, sorry. Um, doing about 50% because it's a spread attack and there's two Pokemon on the field right now. Now we have to risk. Um, 
Ferrata might be going for a double protect or Kyogre. Surviving a Moonblast number one, surviving a Moonblast from Xerneas, and being able to fire off the Ice Beam onto Primal Groudon. But it's pretty dire in the moment. Because um, we have two restricted legendaries on Ruben Psyche. Conserve them um, throughout the game right now. And it's paying dividends uh, for him at the moment. Because Ferraton, yes, he might be out to counter the Xerneas, but the Groudon's up with the uh, Desolate Land up. So the weather advantage is in Ruben's side right now. So we've seen Ray Zong it Chong Zui has already locked up his uh, moves. We're waiting for Ruben to set up. Um, like what, what's he gonna decide right now? As we do see a protect from Kyoga. Would he be is he gonna go for a fire punch or, or a press piece blades now? That's the question. As we do see Moonblast going on to Paraton, nicely predicting that the Kyoga is gonna protect. And we do see a press piece blade is coming from the Kyoga. From the Groudon, sorry. Gonna connect onto the Ferraton slot right here. It does not pick up the KO, but will the Ferraton lead out of no, it goes for a power whip instead. Onto the ground, definitely that's going to pick up KO, right? Yep, it's a neutral attack right now because of the ground. Because of the ground and fire typing. Now, here's the thing, uh, Ferrothorn has leftovers. If he connects with the lead C onto the Xerneas, he could just protect and stall because there's nothing much uh, a plus two Moonblast can do to a, Xernia, uh, to a Ferrothorn, so... I'm pretty sure Ruben understands that the threat right now is not relying on Kyoga but on the uh, Ferraton and he geomances up. Oh boy, giving him the plus two speed. I'm not sure if um I'm not sure if he's anticipating that Ferraton is not gonna go for a gyro ball onto Xerneas. We'll have to see here right here folks, because right now Kyoga and Ferraton has not protect, so they're both definitely going for an attack right now or possibly like a setup move. As we do see Origin Pulse connect in single target, there's no weather evolve. And it's like plus two special defense on Xerneas as it, as it does take it like a champ as we do see a gyro ball connect picking up the KO on Xerneas it's a one hit KO with, with the plus speed you, you geomancy in front of uh, a ferroton I mean that's what you should expect like a gyro ball is going to connect regardless as we do see um, Chongzui crawled his way back came back with a victory um, which was we thought was a deciding round already because um, Ruven had the advantage really, of being 4-2 and he swapped out the ground on to get back the weather up, right? So, wow, that the predictions um, in game right now. As we do see, both players are in team preview at the moment, possibly thinking up um, strategies on how to counter um, what we just saw just now with the Ferrothorn, the Kyogre on Chongzui's side right now. Uh, I would like to see the Yvelta coming out from Chongzui's side, right? Because um, Yvelta has not been on stream yet, so I would like to see whether if he's gonna consider bringing it. Um, since he's already won one round, is he gonna? Um, going back, go back to the same lead as just now, uh, with the Klefki and uh, um, Kang, uh, Kangskan. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, would Ruven as well lead off the same lead? Because it's the big six, but we have Meow Sting instead of Kang, uh, Kangaskhan at that slot, right? So most of the common leads right now, even with that team, would tend to lead off with a Smurgle Xerneas. But I'm pretty sure Chongzo is gonna see through uh, the cracks and because uh, he could easily send out Klefki being disruptive with all the prankster shenanigans that's gonna come up from him along with the fake out from Kangaskhan, right? Alright, as we do see, um, both players are already going into the game right now and we see, um, as we do see Ruben's side on the, on the screen here Ruben's gonna lead off his smur Smurgazan, yes, like I mentioned it's it's the ultimate, uh, like, setup disruptive guy as we do see Kangaskhan and Klefki being sent out right now but here's the thing Kang, if I'm not mistaken, is faster than Smurgle I mean, based on the speed calls, uh, Kang should be faster than Smuggle, so he could easily get the fake out off. Because fake out, uh, Smuggle's maximum speed is only at 139, whereas uh, Kang's is about around 150 something. After Mega Evolve, it's around 168 uh, or 167. I'm not really sure on my speed EVs right here. As we do see Kang's can decide to Mega Evolve, possibly going for a fake out to Smuggle or possibly to um, Xerneas, because um, if you were to go into Smuggle, um, he could easily set out a safeguard on the Clef Key. Oh, as we do see Clef Key getting faked out by Smirga as we do see Kangaskhan not even going for a fake out okay oh well we do see uh, Geomancy being set up here by Ruben it's a free Geomancy for him um, no problems there alright uh, Xerneas doing his Xerneas things getting his Geomancy off plus 2 speed plus 2 special defense and plus 2 speed but what uh, Clef uh, no, as we do see Double H coming from Kangaskhan now would he be put into Sucker Punch KO range I believe he is. I believe he is, unless Smurgle decides to go for a Dark Void next turn or 
We have to see, oh, special defense does increase from Smeargle and special attack drops, but that's really not the point here with Smeargle, unless Smeargle does decide to use Follow Me right now. Oh, this Kangaskhan on Chong's side here have Protect. Now, that's the question, right? Because if not, then Smeargle could go for Follow Me like he is right now, and Xenius could knock out the potential threat, which is Kangaskhan, or decides to go for a Dazzling Gleam instead. He does go for a Sucker Punch, that's it. And you go for a safeguard to neglect the Dark Void right now, but now this is a pretty dominant turn for Ruven right here. Who doesn't really pick up the KO as it does on Kangaskhan, but it does neglig negligible damage on Clef Key right now. <coughs> as you do see, Smurgle gets Moody Boost right now, increasing in speed, oh boy. But that doesn't really affect anything because um, Clef Key has already set out the safeguard. It's done its part. Clef Key can possibly switch out, being safe for another turn right now. And Kyogre decides to come out, um, but his thing up, Zerny is at plus 2 speed, it's gonna outspeed the Kyogre regardless. And um, Smirka is not even taunted, and even had the plus 2 speed, right? Speed advantage, so would, uh, would we see uh, a follow me from Smirka again? Because it's a pretty same uh, follow me from Smirka, uh, there's nothing to avoid it. And Zerny can dish out damage output with uh, Moon Blasters or Dazzling Gleams. I would say uh, Moonblast be better on Kyogre or possibly Dazzling Gleam just to oh as we do see a white guard white guard from Smirgle possibly preventing the water spout damage right here we do see light screen now we now we know that this clef key is screen variant reflect light we've seen uh, reflect light screen uh, it might possibly be carrying a uh, foul play as well as we also see safeguard for the matter we've not seen actually any attacks oh uh, Chongzui has seen through the wide guard and decides to go for an ice beam onto the Xerneas and picks up the KO. <coughs> now Smuggle's drop, uh, speed has dropped but his special defense has increased by two folds. So we do see now speed ties come, I'm pretty sure it's a growl down, yep, it's definitely the primal growl down right now. Um, now here's the question. I'm pretty sure it's a safe sword stance for Ruben to, to go for right now. Because regardless, the Klefki is going to go for uh, reflect right and we know that this clef key has no swagger uh, so it's it's pretty safe for him to set up the reflect switch out the Kyogre and let the Groudon get its sword stance off or unless Groudon would like to go for a precipice blades but then it would wouldn't do much damage because uh, the reflect would definitely be up but it decides to go up to go for a protect instead what will we see from the clef key Oh no, we'll see uh, Smirgle going for his follow me first because uh, priority wise and Clefki does go for reflect so would we see the sword snake come out into play right now or would we see uh, Presbyce Blades? No, we do see Presbyce Blades instead. Will it pick up the KO onto Clefki right now? We'll have to see as it does. Uh, it, it is enough to pick up KO and it wasn't even a critical hit for that matter. Even spread damage with the reflect up. Yes, the Presbyce Blades is still enough to pick up the KO. Now the Moody on uh, Smirgle right now isn't really going on uh, Ruven's favor right now because it's all giving random stats, special attacks, special defense. Uh, more like what Ruven would need is actually speed and evasiveness or accuracy for the matter. Because right now Dark Void is not going to do anything, right? Because uh, Safeguard is still left for the matter. And now we see Ferrothorn coming up from Chongzui's side. So we know all four Pokemon of uh, Chongzui right now. We have the Kyogre, we have the Ferrothorn, uh, we have the Klefki which uh, got one hit KO. Right, and we didn't see uh, Yveltal or Talonflame for both games, so I'm really concerned. Like, what does he have in mind? So we just see nicely going onto the Smuggler side, doing uh, not so much damage because of the special defense increase that he got. I mean, do see a uh, safe sword sense from Primal Groudon? As you see, a new shield possibly connecting to Groudon? No, connecting on the Smirgle instead. I'm not sure why Smirgle because um, I would assume that Groudon is a bigger threat. Because right now Ruven just has to play until the safeguard is uh, stopped so he could easily go for the dark void for the matter but safeguard is still up and um, basically it's just going to be Ferrothorn against the wall because right now Groudon could easily go for Presbyce Blades it's a plus 2 Presbyce Blades um, Kyogre even though he wins speed tight right here I don't know if Ice Beam can knock out Groudon I'm, I'm pretty sure it doesn't it's bulky enough plus Smuggle has to follow me Ice Beam is doing um, like um, poor damage you know and you see a plus two precipice blade is coming out definitely gonna uh, knock out uh, no put it under half for the ferrothorn as we do see leech stick uh, fail because of the follow me and 
Leech Seed is already on the Smirgle, so the follower here playing a very vital role for Ruven's uh, uh, side right here, right? Now here's the thing, Ruven can easily go for the same play again, uh, follow me, press his blades, and there's uh, nothing that uh, Chong Zui can uh, really do. He has to possibly change up his tactic tactics and go on to round 3 and uh, try and play around this follow me smirker because it's very disruptive right now, right? <coughs> Okay, he's pretty much set. Uh, the follow me smirgle and it's all done. Alright, and Chongzhou decides not to reveal any more information and decides to forfeit the match. Pretty deciding victory over there for Ruven once he got the swords dance up. Like, I'm not sure how would you counter that, right? Because uh, follow me, every move that you do to the Groudon is being redirected back onto the primal uh onto the smirgle for that matter, right? So Chongzhou has to figure out a way on how he's gonna play around the follow me smirgle because spread attacks won't work unless you have the rain up but since primal groudon was pretty dominant on the speed all right so all right our pokemon professor is uh, encouraging those to enter the pokemon challenge tomorrow to sign up today uh, so if you're watching stream at home you want to participate you can do so all right as we do see both players are in team pv right now uh chongzoi and ruven are one on one at the moment are pretty vital to see who's gonna win the next round. Um, we see that Ruven and Chongzui has like multiple ways to deal with each other uh, based on their presence because Ruven has the big six. I'm pretty sure Chongzui has built his team to play around the big six right now. But I do see that I noticed that Chongzui is pretty thunderous weak for the moment because Chongzui has no redirection attacks, right? And Chongzui has three Pokemon weakness to electricity at the moment. But fortunate for him that he's not going up against any Thunderers at the moment. Alright, we're going to the game live as we do see both of our players right now. Uh, going to their final match of Swiss Round 4. As we do see, yep, the Meowstick and Groudon lead from uh, Ruven's side of the field here. As we do see Klefki and Kyogre. Wow, both of, op both of them are opposite of each other right now. We have to see who is faster, who is slower right now. We do see uh, Ruven going to get the advantage in terms of weather right now. Because um, Chongzhu's Primal Kyogre is going to Mega Primal Reverse first, giving him the weather setup first, whereas uh, Ruben's Groudon is, must be the slower variant. That's why he's going to get the weather up last. So he has to switch out the Kyogre if he wants to keep up the weather advantage he has at the moment. <coughs> yeah, so right now it's a pretty. Uh, I would say Ruben has the upper lead right now because number one, he has the weather advantage. Two, he knows that Klefki is all screens. There's no swagger to stop him from doing anything at the moment. So for right now, his Groudon is very safe to go for a Swords Dance, and the Meowth is very safe to go for a Gravity. Nothing can prevent that, mind you. Unless, uh, you, you do see Yvelta come out. Yes, I, I would love to see Yvelta put in some work. I call him the Flying Bacon, because he's shiny, he looks like bacon. Um, so as we do see, uh, reflect goes up to ne neglect the uh, to neglect the swords then it's gonna put it to neutral here but I'm pretty sure the grab we're gonna see gravity right now no we do see trick room go up oh boy oh boy oh boy uh, trick room going up from the meow stick that means the, the Groudon is a slow variant right and Groudon is gonna out slow the Yveltal because Yveltal what I thought of Zin Chongzui's Chong position was he could send out the Veltal. He knows the Groudon is going to go for a Swords Dance. He could easily foul play the next turn, right? To pick up the one KO. As we do see Gravity coming out. And I'm pretty sure Prospice Blade is going to come up from the Primal Groudon right now, right? Because uh, Veltal is all, all, they lose their flying abilities for the moment. And we see a plus two Prospice Blades connecting. But remember, the Reflect is up. And we do see, not even a critical hit. It just picks up the one KO onto Clef Key. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, as like I said, we will we'll see the foul play from Yveltal Because really bulky as it does survive Plus 2 Dark Aura, Yveltal Foul play I'm... Wow I'm not sure the EV spreads on either Pokemon Because I'm pretty sure a 252 attack on Yveltal could easily knock out a Primal uh, Groudon's uh, Max attack uh, uh, Plus 2 matter for the matter, plus 2 You know, so that was, that was, we would assume that the Primal Groudon is running some more bulk to even survive that that hit right there, right? Alright, so we're kind of in a pickle right now. 
As we do see Primer Kyogre come back out into the field Setting up the rain, 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 go away for Groudon right now But um, I'm not sure whether Kyogre is going to go for the attack Because Kyogre could safely go for a protect And if Velta has Sucker Punch then he could safely go for a Sucker Punch Unless, oh right, I totally forgot, Meowstic has Quick Guard So it's going to block any potential Sucker Punches But we do see Velta going for the protect and I'm pretty sure Kyogre is just going to get the Precipice Blades as it is. Yep, Precipice Blades connecting there. Doing severe amounts of damage onto the Kyogre. Will we see an Origin Pulse coming from Kyogre? Will it connect? Yes, it does. Alright, so Chongzui is still in this game. Yep. Critical Hit on 2. I'm pretty sure that Critical Hit did not play any effect onto the Primer Cup Garland. I mean, it's 4 times weak to water for the matter, right? So alright, who is Ruben going to set up here? Because Chong Zui has the weather war advantage right now Quote unquote uh, And then we'll, have, we'll see a time flame come out okay, Not knowing that Yvalto and Kyogre are severely damaged Any one of them is going to go down to a talent flames or a brave bird for that matter Because it's priority, it's going to get the hit And uh, Meowsi could easily quick guard for any potential attacks But Kyogre could easily go for a protect And Yvalto could go for a foul play onto a talent flame and pick up the KO so these are where the mind games come in. Who are you going to target Talonflame? Who are you going to target? Plus it also depends on who does uh, Ruven has in the back, right? And also who uh, Chong Zui has in the back. Because you might want to conserve the Pokemon that you have in play for to count to fight back against um, the next Pokemon that you have in the back. Alright, Chong Zui has locked up his move. We have to see what does Ruven do right now. Alright. Chong Zui seems pretty excited on the move that he selected Knowing that he could still be in this game If you were to make the proper proper decision on Who is going to get Brave Bird right here As we do see a Yvelta switch out right now Out into Ferrothorn So if Talfley were to Brave Bird into that slot The Iron Barbs recoil It's going to do heavy amounts of damage into it. We see a Brave Bird Into Ferro no, into Kyoko. Oh, he made the right call. Ruben made the right call right there. Apparently. So, and the rain is gone. I just, I totally forgot. The rain's gone. If Kyoko would have protected just now, and the, the weather was up, Ferrothon would have been the proper prime position that it will ever be, right? Because right now, Tamflame could easily go for a uh, flare blitz onto the uh, Ferrothon slot, unless he decides to protect. If Elta gets up the attack. But here's the thing. Even if Talonflame does uh, decide to attack the Yveltal What can Ferrothorn do to a Talonflame and win the world? I'm, 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 sure, I'm pretty sure not much unless he has HP Rock or HP Water For that matter Which I doubt, mind you As you do see, uh, Ferrothorn decides to go for a protect I'm pretty sure Yveltal is going to go for an attack right now Possibly not Sucker Punch but maybe Power Play But we have to see whether Talonflame's Brave Bird can pick up the KO onto Yveltal or not it, is, it comes down to this, folks Will we see it survive? Unfortunately for Chong Zui, it's, it's done. It's now just Ferrothorn against the world right now. Unless Tangflame has no Flare Blitz, but... Um, and it's running Life Orb too for that matter, so... And the Reflect was up, so even with the Reflect, it couldn't prevent the Evolta from being knocked out. Alright, so we'll see here how is Ferrothorn going up against 3 Pokemon, mind you. I'm pretty sure um, Chong Zui always brought the Ferrothorn to... Uh, to counter the Xerneas, he's like a Xerneas check for him But we do see a flare blitz come out, I'm pretty sure that's good game here folks Alright, is that a crit? No, no crit Just, it just went down that fast Alright, and that was a pretty deciding victory here for Ruven uh, Even recall, does it, Life Orb takes it off, yeah, li Life Orb takes him out <coughs> That's a deciding 2-0 victory for Ruven's side Pretty well played uh, asserting that even Meowstic, Meowstic Groudon The Gravity Precipice Blades connecting uh, both Pokemon And then the Swords Dance, you know Swords Dance uh, Swords Dance uh, Primal Groudon I like that set, I've tried it once But here's the thing You don't count all the dragons You, you, you can't counter dragons, you can't counter flying You can't counter uh, anything flying Mega Rayquaza is a big threat to you, right? So yeah, it's a very situational Pokemon, mind you so for him to bring that to the team, I'm pretty sure he has other supportive counters in his list over here on Ruben's, Ruben's side right here. 
but I thought that was a really well played, really well constructed. He knew how to control the scenario of the game right here. And hopefully uh, Chong Zui can take that into some lessons right here and improve going on forward. Alright, um, that's very, uh, very deciding victory right here. And yeah, I think we're done right now for Swiss round 4. I can't wait to see you all for round 5 and I'll see you all soon again. Thanks.